Hi uh, guys, it's me UB Programmer and in this video I'll be showing you how you can create an image classifier uh, with the help of PyTorch and we will using a transfer learning approach to build a image classifier which can uh, work on multi classification problem uh, or uh, obviously on binary classification also. So uh, what example I'm using here uh, to demonstrate in this uh, video is this 10 monkey species data set. So basically as the name suggests it contains 10 uh, species of monkeys as the images and which are uh, given here from N0 to N9 we have 10 uh, species uh, with their scientific names are also given here. and uh, you can find this uh, data set uh, from this link I, hope I will add it in the description also and for the uh, PyTorch uh, framework uh, you should follow a particular sequence and what uh, should be that uh, you have to uh, divide your data set into training and validation so you have to uh, get two folders one is training uh, the other is validation or the test uh, set whatever you are naming it uh, doesn't matter uh, then for the training you have the same classes and the for validation exact same classes okay so that's the main thing okay so now we will start to build a image classifier on this data set okay so uh, I have same data set loaded here uh, what you can do is create a new notebook and uh, just uh, like proceed with the code and you can find the code in the, the uh, description of this video okay so when I run this uh, you can just uh, replicate all of this work okay uh, so basically importing libraries uh, I hope uh, you know about that then optimizer and then the neural networks uh, we are importing that and uh, to deal with the data set we are uh, using torch vision package and because it's image so we are using pillow library from the python as image uh, module okay so that's some of imports uh, not a big deal now uh, we have to find a number of classes we obviously know that we have 10 uh, classes but uh, for the sake of uh, just verification we will check number of folders here in our training so it obviously is 10 so we have 10 number of classes then we are loading the data set so train uh, directory then the test directory I am just copy pasting this path right here and why I am using Kaggle because I want to use GPU and I obviously not have in my system so I am using uh, Kaggle as a platform to give me this GPU power uh, which I can use to train my models right because these are uh, like heavy computational mo uh, models and can't be run only on CPU okay and one more option you can use is uh, Colab uh, and uh, both are good uh, Kegel and Colab but Kegel give us advantage to uh, deal directly with the data because it's already uploaded on Kegel so that's why I'm using that and then we are uh, just uh, transforming our data because uh, we want to keep all of them all of the images in the same size as 224 by 224 pixel and uh, just some normalization because in the machine learning or deep learning our model wants to recognize patterns and if our data is in the simplest form that's a good thing for model okay and then we are just loading our data set and here I'm printing the images in the training data then the images in the testing data what are the batches batches are uh, number of images uh, in one uh, part okay so we don't want to like uh, give uh, one image by one image to our model so that's why we are creating a batch and we are giving 32 image in a batch okay 
now comes the model building part we are using vgg16 uh, model for uh, classification and it is a pre-trained model so we can just import it and uh, train its parameter or update its parameter for our custom data set okay so importing that then uh, creating a custom layer which will be the output layer will be number of classes so it uh, will create a classifier for 10 different classes number of classes here is 10 I have shown you here right uh, then we will get our model with the optimizer Adam uh, and the criterion or loss matrix as n triple s uh, n double s uh, l loss uh, this is uh, I guess you have to search for it uh, just uh, keep it in mind that uh, we have different uh, loss functions for different problems and for the classification uh, this natural log uh, loss function is the uh, great function uh, to use okay so that's it and we have this model uh, ready to be trained and you can see uh, it's almost of 528 MB and it's just downloaded on the Kegel system so we don't have to worry about much okay? and now comes the training parts so we are using only epox as 5 that means all of the images are uh, being trained by 5 times uh, by our model and then uh, some of tracking of loss because we want to show in our training that what is the training loss what is the validation loss what is the validation accuracy we can also show the training accuracy uh, that's not a big deal uh, but a uh, little uh, bit explanation about loss how you, you can interpret that is loss will be great or uh, you can say a loss will be high uh, in the in the beginning and when the trainings uh, is happening or uh, when the training proceed uh, your model start to learn pattern it will gradually decrease so 79 to 15 to 12 to 10 to 9 right it can uh, decrease further if we just increase number of epochs here okay and then the validation loss same concepts uh, it will be high in the beginning but it will gradually decrease Validation uh, accuracy is the uh, quite opposite to the loss it will be uh, you can say uh, really low in the beginning if you see the training accuracy it will be really low in the beginning because model hasn't learned anything in the beginning but when it start learning it will increase the accuracy and you can just plot them also I hope uh, that's not a issue but the main uh, thing here is to uh, build a image classifier which can work on multiple uh, use cases okay so if you are working on any project you can just uh, let me know uh, to discuss about that okay? now uh, to make predictions we are just making a classes as this order exact order right a list and then uh, to process image same uh, normalization as we uh, give to the uh, training images right and then we are using uh, image from n4 class this n4 class and try to predict that so you can see we are getting n4 but let's say we want to use this image from n3 let's use that and see the result image I'll just copy paste it the path so n3 uh, image is being uh, tested and let's see okay so you can see n4 is converted to x n3 uh, that means our model is doing uh, good predictions on the data right so that's how you can create a image classifier now what you can do is just save that model and deploy it on a web application with the help of flask or django that can easily be uh, done 
uh, and if you want to discuss about any of uh, problem you are working any of project you are working you can just contact me f uh, through the whatsapp directly or mail me right or you can just fill out this form the link is in the uh, description to uh, so that i can contact you within 24 hours i hope you like the video and this will be helpful for you and i'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching